I have been secretly using the Lander Mastering plugin. And coming from someone who was highly critical of Lander's mastering, I was actually impressed when I tried this plugin for the first time. And now I'm hooked, man. <laughs> Look, just listen to the track with the Lander Mastering plugin, then I'm gonna take it off and y'all can judge for yourself. I need a bag of blue hunters, I wanna end up on it, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tender reveal, walking out the bank. I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. She asked me what I'm having, I told her money, baby. That made a huge difference, right? Now look, to be fair, there is a game match button. So let's listen to a little bit of the mix after we activate this game match. This way the level doesn't change. It's not gonna get louder, but we will hear any differences in EQ and compression and stuff like that from the mastering plugin. And that's truly a feature, right? That we want to have on any plugin that we're using for mastering because we want to be able to tell what's really happening because our ears will get fooled when we hear something that's louder. We will automatically kind of think that louder is better Better when that's not always the case. There could be artifacts and stuff that's happening that you're not picking up on. So let's hear this with the Lander Master and then I'm going to bypass it and it's game matched. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tent of reveal, walking out the bank. I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Right? So the track got um, a little bit more controlled. It felt like it lost a little bit of the punch, but I feel like we need to have that to get the compression and get the overall loudness that we ultimately want. Real quick, to be honest, most of us are not mastering engineers and we should really be focusing on getting a great mix before we even think about mastering. Some of my mentees in the Wavy Seals Elite community, they be having really great mixes and then they kill them when they add the limiter on at the end. So for one of our mix of the month challenges, I set a rule that no one could use any mix bus processing. No compressors, no limiters, no EQs, no nothing on the mix bus, man. And what they all discovered was that in their attempt to get louder mixes, they were actually ruining that detail that they took the time to create, squashing the dynamics, introducing distortion, and all kinds of artifacts, man. My recommendation to you is that you master the art of mixing before you try to master your own records. Using an intelligent mastering plugin or service like Lander can really help to remove a barrier in your music production, right? And yes, I have tried the other mastering plugins, right? But it's just something about the simplicity of the Lander Mastering Pro that makes me want to come back to it over again, man. So look, Let's just jump into this plugin and take a look at exactly how we can use this on our mix. So I'm gonna start off with a factory default. Actually, let me just remove this whole plugin, right? When you first insert the plugin, it's immediately gonna start listening for your mix and it starts to analyze, analyze, analyze it, right? So let me put the plugin back. So right, now it's waiting for the audio to play back. So let me put my headphones on real quick. And I'm gonna just go ahead and play the mix. And you typically wanna play from the loudest part of your song and you're just gonna let it play through until it's done. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want it up on it, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tender reveal, walking out the bank. I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby. 
All right, and now the mastering is done. If you need to reanalyze your master at any time, just hit that master button and then it will start to reanalyze your masters. Really, really simple, okay? Now look, this is what I would recommend that you do. Soon as it get done mastering, go ahead and hit that game match so that you can actually listen to your mix at the same level that you've been listening to it to without any um, bias from the loudness change. And then let's just see what we got here, so. So right now we're listening to the balance master style that Lander says, look, this is one we think is going to be the best for the mix. It's got clarity and, and balance, right? Now look, they also have an open style. They say open creates a modern open sound with an emphasis on punch and presence. Maybe that might be good for this mix. And then warm, that's more of a vintage, thicker sound, right? So let's listen to this and I'm going to switch between these three styles. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink fifties, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tender reveal walking. All right, so I'm definitely leaning between balanced and open. Let's go back and forth between those again. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink fifties, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a gender reveal, walking out the bank, I get money, baby, money. All right, I think I like the open, man. And actually what I was hearing before with that punch being gone, it might've just been because I was using the balance settings. Let's bypass before and after with that game match. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink fifties, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. All right, still plenty punchy enough with the open setting. I'm happy with that. Now let's keep going. I need a bag of blue hunters. Now listening, I have all of these different controls as well. So we got equalizers. We got low, mid, and high equalizer, right? So if I wanted to make the mix have even more low end or maybe a little more highs or a little less highs, right? I have the control to do that between my low, mids, and highs to just EQ the mix as uh, as I see fit, EQ the master as I see fit. Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of play around with that a little bit. I kind of think it can be a little bit brighter, maybe. <laughs> I need a bag of blue hunters, I want it up on it, I'm running up on it. I like that. I need a lot of pink fifties, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. All right, I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna leave that like that. Now, and then we got the stereo feel. So we can choose whether we want to uh, it make make the mix uh, seem wider or even more narrow. So let's just listen. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want it up on it, I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink fifties, I want it in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tip to reveal. Walking out the bank, I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Bye, pass. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. All right, so the mix doesn't sound terribly different, which is great because again, if you got a good mix, you don't want the mastering to change it. One of the main things that I want here is to get maybe a little bit more punch, maybe a little bit more presence, maybe some warmth, um, get the right amount of compression. But overall, I just want to get my mix louder without killing it, without adding a bunch of distortion and stuff, man. So we also got presence. This presence is going to focus on that vocal range. Like it's kind of like EQing around that vocal range. So you want to, and it even give you a note right here too. It's like, hey, look, if you got to use too much of this presence, you might just need to go back to the mix and turn up the vocal there, right? Um, and then we got de -esser. I'm not going to mess with none of this. I feel like the mix is 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 fine with the level of the vocal as well as the de -esser. So we don't really need to uh, change that on this case. But if you need to, especially in cases where you don't have access to the full mix, then you might want to adjust some of these actually on the master. But if you have access to the mix, and you can even use this as a test. If you start adding more presence and it sound better, then maybe you just actually turn that off and go back to the mix and turn up the vocal or add a little bit more presence to the vocal. All right, and then down here, we got control over our dynamics. So I can increase or decrease the amount of compression that's been added, actually change the character. Um, turning this to the left will make it uh, punchy, and more punchy, and turning it to the right will make it more smoother style uh, compression. And then we got saturation that's gonna add some, like, some of that analog 
thickness and warmth. Let's see what that saturation feels like. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, yeah. I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want an in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tender reveal. Walking out the bank, I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money. Baby. I like how that saturation really starts to thicken up that mix. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, I'm running up on it. Without it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want an in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blues and a pack of pink. I feel like a tender reveal. Right, and then I love that we got this meter and I can also see my output level. So right now, I'm gonna be outputting this mix at about negative 10 luffs. Make sure that before you export and bounce down your mix, that you turn the game match off. That way you can get the full loudness. Now I did just turn that up. The volume is gonna get a little bit louder, so let's listen. I need a bag of blue hunters, I want an abundant, yeah. I'm running up on it. I need a lot of pink 50s, I want an in plenty, I'm running to get it. I need a bag of blue. In a pack of pink, I feel like a tender reveal. Walking out the bank, I get money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Yo, so now you see how easy it is to use the Lander Master and Pro plugin. And again, it's really critical for us as mixing engineers, especially if you just getting started to not have to focus on mastering your own tracks. Focus on your recording process, focus on your mixing process, your songwriting process, and then let the AI do the mastering. It is okay at this point in game, man. And this stuff is actually pretty darn good, if I must say so myself. I, I really like this is to get that mix up to loudness, man. And for my pro guys out there, if you like, oh, I would never use that. This is great master for a quick rough mix for a demo. Now, if you want to send it out to, you know, get it professionally mastered, that's fine. But for a demo mix, a rough mix, like this is gonna be, you can't really beat this, man. And it's so quick and so easy to use. You don't have to think too much about it. It's doing all the work for you. Let me know what you think about the Lander Master and Pro plugin. And let me know what you think about them bars that Wavy dropped on you. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com. Be dope.